And welcome back to episode 11 now of Half Moon Bay. So if you're watching live, it's welcome back, but <laughs> after the fact, whatever, you know. Welcome back to you, too. <laughs> so we've got this kind of main road that people are going to be coming in on. And we need to, this is where people are going to live as well, so... We need to kind of figure out how we're going to connect everything up here. And I think first, we're going to do a road here to kind of define this edge. It's uh, a little too close. Just a little bit more. Maybe just a teeny bit more than that. Okay. That should work. Because then we should be able to do the same for this side. And we can make a corner, or, you know, a curved corner out of this. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean, didn't mean to take a screenshot, but okay. Hmm. It's not giving me a nice corner. There we go. That's a nicer corner. So we connect into there. I think this road is going to run straight down and connect in down here somewhere. Like I may even curve it around with this road to connect it in like that. That actually sounds like a great idea. back even further. Wow, okay, we can go back even further. It doesn't have to exactly match the curve of this, but it would be nice to get it really close. Like, kind of like that. Looks pretty good. And actually, let's make that curve even better. Oh, really? You're going to do that to me? There. And then I think this actually is going to need to be right about like that. There we go. And then maybe we just fix this a little bit. There. So now we can use some of this freeway to take off some of the burden over here. And 
and then maybe with this we take it back from here and connect it in just kind of right over here Then, then we can connect this. We can kind of make a road like this. And perhaps even curve it if I can. I'll have to demolish the city hall, but we know where I really want it, so. That's the right spot. Yeah. So we can fit stuff on either side. There we go. And then this, of course, will connect back in up here. There we go. Hmm. Although thinking about it, I did want some really tall buildings in here. So what if we do it this way instead? Then hopefully I can draw some really nice big buildings in here and in here. Which then leaves this area where we also want tall buildings. <coughs> Something like this. <coughs> oh, and that's the other thing I'm nearly forgetting. We need a place for water and sewer. So where is our water? Pretty much everywhere. So maybe we do sewer right here and we put water kind of over this way. Because we're going to want a road that goes like this. I kind of wish I could have fit one right there. That would have been really nice. Yeah, but it won't fit. Okay. 
We will then curve this up and around this other thing. Make a curve here. <laughs> and then we should curve this back in in a way to connect up here. So that way we have some places up here for really nice tall buildings. Thing that would be fun to do maybe I can make it happen here is to make a tunnel from this side over over to this thing and I could do it you gotta find a spot here. <laughs> Do it here. That would actually work pretty well. But I kinda want it up closer to the middle here. <laughs> that would actually work really well. As long as I can hook on to that correctly, I should be able to make a nice even slope. Uh, not nearly as even as I wanted it to be. I will get this drawn in to look good. It'll just take me a minute. There we go. Much better. And then we can draw, like, a road here that this connects into. And that way this leaves me just a little bit of room to do some, some things here and stuff. Um, a little bit of both prologics. I'm thinking I'm going to have mostly commercial, if, if I can make it a higher wealth commercial, um, in here. And, and it, like, in here, you know, up close to the intersection. And then farther back I'll have, uh, uh, residential.
Yeah, and the, these two areas are really going to be residential. This is going to be commercial. In fact, I should just start zoning this. Like that. This is going to be commercial all in here. Probably this whole thing up to at least here. So that that is all going to be commercial. This area I'll leave open for now. I, I'll probably end up putting something there. I'm just not sure what yet. <coughs> Now let's figure out, let's get a distance on these so we can kind of maximize our housing. Is that actually straight is the other question. Close enough. Make some curves out of this. wanting to connect in funny ways. Well, there's a little bit of a road break there, but that'll work. And then we'll just connect these. We'll use the medium densities to make little connections out. And then we can zone this whole area. To be residential. I don't really care which side they grow on, because I know that this is only big enough for one. There we go. Now we can kind of do the same over here. One going 
Yeah. I'm going there. And then I think we can connect it in here. So that there are choices along this road. And I kind of want to do something like this, <coughs> where it just curves in through the middle, just because I think it would look cool. So I'm going to do it. Mm. Why does it feel the need to mess with these roads so much? Pulling them diagonal when I'm trying to make a, you know, a nice corner that's nice. <laughs> Again. And then I think we need to connect a road over here. And honestly, we can connect, like, two roads in here. So that depending on which way they're coming from, they can just go under. And then maybe we should actually have this curve into... into here. Uh, let's back this up a little more. not really giving me the <coughs> excuse me the angle that I want there we go and then we can do let's actually just do a straight one from the corner just to give it some pizzazz The only thing we don't have is a connection over here, which I don't think we really need. Let's put the housing in, in here, which is going to be yeah, all in this one. And I don't know if I can fit. I can right here. So maybe that's where I'll draw it. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll draw this around. Is there gonna, there's going to be people that live underneath the freeway. They're going to be smaller houses, obviously, but they, they still live underneath the freeway. And then we need to do <coughs> the sewage and the water. 
So let's do the sewage way over here. If I put that down, can I fit a water on the other side? Ooh, I can. But I kind of wanted to put the water down here. Sewage can go here. And let's put the water on this side and then kind of extend it going this way. Like that. And then we can have some other housing right in here that'll be, you know, poor people. Because they have to live by, <laughs> by all this machinery. Okay, let's see, we got power, <coughs> we got water, we got sewer. We got trash and recycling. Um, okay, now we just need to do services. Let's see, fire is obviously gonna go right here. Uh, whoops, fire. Fire. <laughs> fire is gonna go right here, because that's just, that just makes the most amount of sense. And they should be able, yeah, because they should be able to get onto the freeway really easily to get to wherever they need to go. Or maybe I should put them just off to the side a little bit. In this little space. Yeah, that'll probably be better. Two of these and two of these. I'm not going to put the flagpole down because I, I want to put in the elevated trains and the subway too. Because <coughs> I should have, uh, oops, not in, yeah, in Maglev, there should be a little piece now. Yeah, it goes from underground to above ground, which is totally cool, so that you can use it with the elevated rail station. You make it all one, one network. So let's check this out here. I don't have this zoned either because we're going to put in the additional modules and maybe a little bit of housing. And I, I'll, you know, kind of figure that out as we go. So next we need police and health. Let's put the health, um, where do we want the health? That's a good question. Maybe we put it right along here. Well, then it's kind of, it's not very easy to, actually, no, because then it's pretty easy for everyone to get to for both sides. So, yeah, let's put it in here. these in. Help keep the city super healthy. Eh, I don't know if I want that one down that far. That actually looks pretty good as it is. Now police. Let's see if all the commercial is going to be in like this area. Maybe I should put the police station right down here kind of at the corner. Right 
here maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that looks like pretty good spot. Then JSL's top floor. One of these. There we go. And then I'll basically turn all but one of these off. And I'll do the same. Actually, I'll leave the power and water alone, but I'll do the same with these. Turn things off until I only need, <coughs> or until I have only what I need. In the fire station, I know we're going to use pretty much everything we have there. Okay. The last thing to possibly put in is the library, and I'm not sure if I want to yet. So let's put let's put some commercial over on this side. There we go. Thank you, Morgy Bear. <coughs> I think I'm about ready to get it started, other than I do need to put some bus stops in. Because we do have an arcology. So, let's see, we're going to want one here, we want one here, and here, and here, and here, and here. Kind of just spread these around. Wherever I feel like they might need them. That one's adequately covered with bus stops. We'll put one here. In fact, we'll put a couple around here just because I know we're going to have more stuff as we go on. fairly well covered with bus stops now. Oh, and for the people working down here. <laughs> now I should, I guess, I could, I could put in a, no, I don't need that bus terminal. I need the shuttle bus depot because I only need around for stuff in town. The people from out of town are going to be picked up by the, um, the Arcology basically has its own, uh, its own bus system, so. Where am I going to put this, though? Actually, right in here would work pretty well. Yeah, let's put it right here. Oh, wait. I have a lot of room on this. Uh, 
there. And again, we'll turn these off until we need them. Now let's make sure that these are all doing what they're supposed to. Export, export, import, import. And I think we're about ready to get going here. Have the university. Have all this stuff. I can't think of anything we're missing. So let's fire it up. Yeah, of course there's no power yet because takes like an hour for the power, you know, for the power to charge up. Oh, and people have to work there. And it looks like we got Good traffic coming in to school. Everything's able to get around the city. We just need to get, you know, people into the city so we can get people working there. Let's see if we have any anybody building underneath the freeway yet. Kind of hard to get down there. There we go. Not yet. I wonder if they will. I wonder if it actually counts this as non-buildable area. And that'd be fine too. But it'd be it'd be cooler if they could. <laughs> you know, a couple little houses underneath the freeway. So we have our water going. It must have just started up because our power just got going. Looks like power is able to make it around to basically everything, but I'm concerned about this. Because it's not filling everything. We'll see how it goes. Water is fine, sewer is fine. People are moving in. Alright. Now this just needs to get its action going. <clears throat> and we should have enough money to start stocking everything up that we need and, uh, you know, really start actually making good money. There's a trade train. Nice. And of course, these don't have processors yet because these are just starting. This we'll have to give the city like a day to settle in. I'm curious where the oh there it is it comes it's all the way out here interesting I wonder why yeah it's all the way out there
I wonder if I can do like a... more boats in there. Just, you know, they'll come in and turn around and go do whatever they need to do. Okay, so we're in day, into day two. And we should actually be looking at population. See where they're all going. <coughs> so it looks like we have some backups in here. But it, I mean it's kind of working its way out. It's just a busy... <laughs> this is going to be a busy city. And for most of the people, getting to school isn't that bad. This seems to be a little messed up, though. Maybe what I need to do here is change this to medium. Here, wait. Let's dezone this area. that medium. Might help the traffic flow a little bit there. Otherwise, it seems to be going pretty well. Just this, there's a lot of traffic in here. There are people that make use of other ways around the city when their way is kind of clogged. Oh, hey, we did get a few people building underneath the freeway. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, see, now we get really clogged up at work time. <clears throat> and we should be able to alleviate a lot of this with our um, elevated rail and subway network that we plan to put in here. In 
fact, we can start looking at doing that. Oh, you had a building fire? Okay. Oh, let's let's check on all this here now. Still good on that. Still great on that. Good on that. Everybody's still got to upgrade. Garbage, fine. We had one building burned down today. Okay. Actually doing really good there. And no crimes. All right. Taught almost everybody. That's excellent. Now all we need to do is increase our bus depot. We'll get more people riding the bus, so we'll get a few more cars off the road. We'll make half of them on. It's so nice to watch these guys actually go like where they're supposed to when they come off the freeway and yeah, it just it looks so much nicer when they actually do what they're supposed to fucking do. <laughs> That's so cool. See all the headlights coming through here. We can even turn that, that off so we see the headlights better. I know, right, Pearlogix? We just gotta, uh, we're gonna let everything upgrade here and make sure we keep the power and water and everything in line. <coughs> and then we'll start, um, I'll start doing a little bit of uh, micromanaging to get the, um, to get this in line and to have some higher wealth areas and stuff like that. Like, I think this area up here is prime for high wealth. I can fit some parks around the outside corners and stuff. Yeah, I think it'll be good. These all need to upgrade because they're all still small. But everyone's getting happier. Oh, you know, I never did put in my mayor's mansion. Hmm. Damn, where should that go? Because I do want to put that in. Hmm. <laughs> thinking. Because I need the, I have the mayor's house and the mayor's mansion. The house I can put, like right in here somewhere. Like actually, right over here might be good. Look pretty cool. The mansion, however, is large. I could take the center of this, but I don't want to. I don't want to take up all that space. do it like right let's see here and the other option is over here with the frat boys <laughs> Maybe I will put it in the middle up here and just try to get it over enough so it doesn't hit me so it doesn't hit that building. Actually I can put it all the way over. So hopefully we can get a couple high density buildings in there.
There we go. Still only 15,000 riding the bus? Well, we should still, um, man, we actually don't need that many people. We need some high wealth, and that's about it. So let's convert this area to high wealth like I was talking about. Uh, whoops, we need this. So I'll space these out and do kind of alternating ones. Oh, I had it. There it is. No, I don't think we can fit another one. It's too far. Yeah. We're on top of the road. <clears throat> so there's that moon. Let's see what we can fit back here. Hmm. Not much. We could, however, do a pedestrian path out of here. Goes to there, maybe? And then we might be able to fit a fountain plaza. Hmm. I was hoping to be able to fit one going, you know, this way. Won't let me get close enough, though. Oh, that might. Right there, maybe? Oh, it totally did. Oh. <laughs> That's my wife reminding me to fill out some paperwork. That I already did. this and continue this line on Mountain Plaza. And then it won't fit there. Okay. So how does that do for us? That's most of it. Sorry if you guys can hear my ringtone. <laughs> Let's see if we can fit a couple other little ones in here just to help maintain. Oh, wow. That actually works perfectly. Oh, and I don't want the fenced ones, though. There we go. Now this whole, whole area is high wealth, except for this back part, which maybe I can fit something in. Maybe not. I can over here.
And then... I think I need to put some... Uh, I don't know if I'll have enough room, though. Where's my... Where's this? Where's this come out to? Oh, okay. So as long as I put them over here, I should be good. Like this. Should make that area all high wealth enough. There we go. Now that's coming around a little better. Let that continue all these industrial update, upgrade, whatever. And we are making two million a day. And we haven't even here we can even mess with the taxes a little. Oh, whoops. There we go. And we'll let that grow for a little while. Everybody's moving around the city really well. Let's check on this. Still only 14,000. Okay, well, that's still almost everybody in the city. And these higher wealth people, they won't use it. In fact, we should take the bus stops out of their area. So that the wealth helps, so that we can help keep the wealth up. Just the bus stops. Because these high wealth people won't be using the bus. I think we got all that out. I have one here. And one here. And one here. Should be all the bus stops. Yeah. Should be a little bit easier to keep the wealth level up over here then. that everyone zipping through the intersection that's awesome We got the wait time down significantly. And this is all working out really well to get into here. And there's no traffic problems caused by this like I thought there might be. Need more of these lower wealth people to upgrade density. Oh, 
Oh, I guess these are all the low walls. And I might have to tone tone this back a little. So it's pushing the, the wealth level really far. Like in fact what I should do is take it out. Oops. The video key is not the bulldoze key. <laughs> There we go, and then we'll put it back in, starting on this side. Until we get the high density where we where we need it. And then what we can do is take these two out with one of these. Do it like this. And then we can have high wealth back there much more easily. And we can do the same right here. There, now this whole area is high wealth, and it only spills over, damn, it still spills over the medium a lot. Well, we'll see how this goes for now. We still have a few people unsatisfied, but they're they're pretty close to doing doing fine there. Oh, that's right. What else can I put here? School of Medicine. Actually, what we should do is let's put the dorms in. Uh, maybe we'll put the School of Medicine in here. And then I'll take a road and branch it off from like right here to come this way. The city's filling in here. And it is looking pretty nice. Well, it looks like we're right about the end of our episode here. So we'll come back for another episode. Um, I'm not sure when yet. Possibly tonight again if I have time. I'm not sure what's going on today. But we'll see here. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. And if you'd like to catch me live, just follow me at twitch.tv slash You can always watch the videos later on YouTube. Uh, same thing, just my YouTube channel is called Tinvec. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.